you ever have this phenomenon where you eat and then you just recently eat and then you are already hungry for another big meal? What's up with that? So we're going to be exploring this topic. I'm Jared. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel, helps spread this message about eating awareness and eating enlightenment. Let's dive in. In this video, we're going to be talking about the deeper mindsets. By this, I mean the low hanging fruit that we're really not going to talk about is, is hunger. If you are eating all carbs, if you are um, skipping lunch, if you're not eating enough, if you're getting too hungry, if you're not adequately fueling your body, you, you can have a meal and then you'll want even more food because your gas tank, so to speak, is running on empty. So we're not going to be talking about that, but we need to get that out of the way first. So if you are eating protein and you're eating lunch and you're having a snack and you're not dieting and all this other stuff, then what's going on, right? So let's talk about that. We need to talk about the, these deeper mindsets that are going on. In a nutshell, we have two brains, the survival brain, the animal brain. If you get in a fight, you're not thinking, you're just surviving. And this survival brain tries to keep you alive. And if it perceives a threat, it will sometimes shut down your thinking brain and make you eat to, in its eyes, the survival brain is just trying to keep you alive. Now, it might not seem like there's a survival threat. Like for example, maybe your boss says something rude to you or you get cut off in traffic and then the car drives away. Maybe intellectually, you know that your boss isn't going to kill you. The car drove away and it's gone and you know, you're fine. The survival brain doesn't know that. If it thinks or perceives there is a danger, it can make you eat because it thinks that eating will help keep you alive. And after you eat, what happens? Well, normally when people are eating, they're, they're distracted. They're, they're um, sort of maybe disassociated. If people are overeating, that is, um, if they're binging. They're um, sometimes blissed out. They get a high. Um, basically, all your problems temporarily go away. So this, this survival brain, right? It's only concerned about your immediate survival. It's not caring about your long-term health or anything like that. It's just caring about your immediate survival. And when you get that hit of sugar and fat and carbs and that bliss, so to speak, for a little bit, the survival brain says, oh, I'm safe now. Everything's okay. Boom. So you can eat. And then if there's something that is for some reason triggering your survival brain, it's going to get food, right? Because one of your fundamental needs of safety is not being met. Um, that is a big reason why. That's a huge, huge reason. Ah. Uh, Another fundamental need that other people, that is autonomy or control or um, independence. And so this is a subtle one, but basically if you are trying to be really perfect about your diet, if you have these rules, if, um, if you're, let's say your doctor or a personal trainer has told you to eat this, 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 it can, even though logically you're on board, emotionally, it can feel like you're being controlled. It can feel like you are not in control. It can feel like you're powerless, quite frankly. And so one of these emotional needs is feeling in charge. And so if you're feeling like you're being bossed around all day, you have no time for yourself, that you're, that, um, you know, this kind of dynamic, that survival brain, again, that powerless feeling, it's going to be a threat to it. Right? Powerless is a threat, is a survival threat to the, to the survival brain. And so you could just eat that healthy meal, and then the survival brain is like, well, I, I really don't have any autonomy here. I don't have any power, so I better exert that power so that I can feel safe. These are subtle things, but I hope you see that's how some of these underlying emotional needs can, if you are missing these emotional needs, they can um, lead make the survival part of your brain think that it's in danger somehow and that 
it can make you overeat to uh, sort of make you feel safe. Even though it's temporary, even though it doesn't solve anything, the survival brain is just short term, right? So um, I hope understanding the survival brain and these emotional needs, these are some of the deeper mindsets that can help expand your perception and, and make sense of what's happening when you um, when you eat and then you eat again and, and all that stuff. Okay, so there is an article down below if you do want more information on these um, survival brains and everything, <laughs> and survival brains. <laughs> um, so um, check that out. Again, just like the video and subscribe if, if you do get value out of this. Leave a comment down below. I will respond. Would love to hear what challenges are coming up for you. Um, so yeah, thank you for your time. Namaste.